Hi everyone, good afternoon, good evening, good morning. Thanks for tuning in to my channel today. Just like the title says, we're going to be talking about childhood eczema and triggers, triggers, yes, things that triggers the eczema, you know, the dryness, the itchiness in your child. Um, my son is under four and he currently has atopic dermatitis, uh, which is also known as eczema. Childhood eczema is something that is not curable and it's something that is not, you just manage it and then you get better over time and op hoping that as the child grow up, they will grow out of it. Um, one thing that every mother wants and I'm sure every, for you to be watching this is because you care for your child and you want them to have a childhood that they would enjoy, a childhood that would not be constrained because of the eczema so that's one thing i was really searching up and about for and i can say i've been able to figure out and have um at least five to six points that parent needs to watch out for in order to help control the child's flare-up but these are triggers things that will trigger your child's eczema or flare-ups that you probably don't know yet. Just a background story. I had never had flare-ups like this ever. <laughs> First massive flare-up is in September last year. So it's been October, November, December, January, February, March, April, May. Over eight months now, and I can say I have gotten the hang of it, and I've been able to figure out triggers that I can see causes these kind of things and things are used to minimize flare-ups so that's what we're going to talk about here personally I'm, I'm not a pediatrician i'm not a doctor like i said this is disclaimer that i put out there all i'm just saying is my experience and obviously what i've been advised by professionals as well let's go straight into this video number one trigger point that definitely definitely you need to get checked this is one of the major one that is going to be accompanied by your child's eczema. You need to check for food allergies or intolerance. They are food known as inflammatory food. So when you eat this food, it will cause inflammation of the skin. Inflammation can come in a variety of itchiness, bumpiness, blisters. That is the way your body is trying to defend itself. So that's your body immune system trying to defend itself by causing those inflammation. So if you're eating inflammatory foods and you already have an immune system that is prone to inflammation, i.e. atopic dermatitis, eczema, when you eat this food, it will cause inflammation of the skin. So your body immune system is going to try and fight this, which would then cause itchiness blisters dryness bumpiness on the skin i'll put a picture of um my son over here just to show you what his face look like after having something that he should not have when you take out this food take it out of your diet out of your child's diet let the body relax and then you're going to you can then reintroduce it back into their diet when they get better but then you introduce it in a gradual way, which I will talk about that in a different video. But one of the major inflammatory food is gluten. White flour, wheat flour, and you will be so surprised. Wheat is used in so much. Oh God, it was one of the hardest one for me to get rid of in my child's diet. Down to snacks is wheat flour. So please, how do I go about this? So trying to take out wheat from his diet was a very, very hard one. My son was already diagnosed to have um, egg allergy at a very young age. And from that, when we went to do the um, test, we also did nut allergy. So he had nut allergy. But those are the only two things. I didn't really test for these other ones. All of this stuff I'm giving my child are causing more harm than good for him because of his eczema. What I did was to take my child for a full nutrition test. There's this lady based in Chelmsford, um, SS, 
and I went to her and she did an in-depth testing of whatever possible food, whatever rice, oils, whatever you can think of, meat, proteins, everything. She tested my child and let me know what and what he cannot have for now. There are some things it must stay clear of, things like egg, not that I would, I, I'm already aware of, and there's some that is more of an intolerance for him. So things like um dairy, predominantly cow's milk. You can have cow milk, you cannot have gluten, wheat, you can see it's oat, you can see it's barley, you can see have other stuff, but wheat predominantly you can't, and most things, most food we eat, wheat is made of wheat. Think of dairy, think of chocolate. You can't have milk chocolate because milk chocolate is made with cow's milk. So it needs to have cocoa, pure chocolate, like that chocolate, pure cocoa. That's what he has. So making all those sorts of changes in his diet. Second thing is a trigger, trigger for eczema is heat. H-E-A-T. Don't let my accent confuse you. H-E-A-T. Eat. If it's too hot, your child is going to itch. Heat already makes you itchy normally because it's just sweat, you have heat rash and whatnot. So imagine when you now have eczema, it's going to flare up your eczema even more. So you want to watch out for heat, which is one of the reasons why I stopped going to church. Because at the time when my child eczema was flaring up then, every time I go to church, his skin will become blistered red like a tomato red all over itching non-stop and i'm like when you've been coming to church since the day you were born from covid19 <laughs> when did this start happening i had to stop coming to church for three months so you need to try and make sure that your child is wearing a cool clothing cool clothing what should your child wear to sleep i'm going to put a link down in the description box below this is the pajamas my child uses to sleep especially with his eczema these are made from cotton pure cotton products are breathable it allows hair to flow through it is gentle on the skin and one great thing about this pajamas and reason one of the reasons why i use for my son especially when he's flaring up and i do not want him to get infected it's because he has anti-scratch meetings like a glove built in i'll show you a picture of it here so that way my child cannot scratch himself with his fingernails because it just helps to soften the blow i'll say because even yeah he's rubbing against it he can throw he can i mean rub against it and whatnot which is still not good but at least it can rub and not make a scratch and because if it makes a scratch it's going to get infected other things i also did was to buy gloves those from the same site i bought gloves from them when we go out i wear you will see my son wearing these gloves in his hands even though it's thank god it was not even winter so he helped but when it started becoming a bit warmer i'm like why are you wearing gloves and i'm like oh just let him wear his glove please because once you are take off the glove from his fingers from his hand it starts scratching but these gloves are not like your winter gloves that's why they are different that's why i recommend you get them because it just it's much softer it's much thinner it's nicer i would say but i'm happy i did all, the, all of that for him because i restricted him a lot with that i am happy i did that for him then because now he's able to be fine now towards summer you get what i'm saying so yes those gloves don't overdress them always dress them in layers so that you can take off clothes you see my son sometimes wearing just like those inner vest outside because once it gets too hot, I take it off. The next thing is dryness. There is heat and there is dryness. Yes. The skin is already dry. The hair cannot be dry too. Automatically, in the winter, it's already dry. It's just, there's no moisture in the hair so winter is already a bad season for eczema <laughs> so what you do to control it is especially when he's sleeping i have a humidifier in his room next to his bedside table 
I'll put a link for that humidifier in my description box below. You'll be able to click link with Amazon for you to purchase any of these products that is available on Amazon. Some of them like the eczema clothing and whatnot is not available on Amazon. So you can be able to, but you, I'll put the website for you to buy that from them. But the rest you can buy on Amazon. Literally, the humidifier will help to keep the hair around them moist so his skin will not dry out overnight because that's why you see them wake up in the morning and they will look all white and hashy this is one of the biggest advice that was given to me by the nutritionist and since i started using the humidifier in his room at night i saw a massive massive difference and them not having hot showers do not give your child a hot shower when they have eczema i know it's cold outside just make it warm because when the water is too hot or too warm, I don't know if that's the thing, it's hot, it dries the skin out even more. You want to make sure that the temperature of the water to the temperature of the hair is not that much different. Because if, it's, if, if they bath with hot water and then they come out to a cold hair, that's when you start scratching yourself when you finish shower. Because they're very, that its temperature is not balanced. <laughs> So you want to try and make sure that it is not too hot because so that when you come out of shower or, or a bath, they are not so scratchy. And I would say don't give them baths. Just give them shower. Baths are longer. <laughs> you don't want to soak them in water for too long. You basically want to give them a quick wash, rinse. Mm. All the product I use is I'm going to put them in that link. And they are off on Amazon and you can get them. One other thing that can help with your child's eczema is to try and heal them from the inside. When I say that, there is a particular oil that was recommended to my son from the nutritionist. One of the products he recommended for my child to use is the, es the Eskimo Pure Omega 3 Fish Oil. This one is the pure one. You don't want to just buy any fish oil on the for them to use. This one is designed for kids. So this, I, this is the one I bought. You just don't want to go and buy any of the counter. So this is the one that was recommended by a nutritionist that looks after children. And she said, I should get this. And I've been using it for my child. And I can say to you, I see difference in his skin. It's I, as if you're taking um skin supplement, let me say. So that way, the skin is going to be repairing itself, looking glossy, looking nice, looking fresh, looking clean. You know, so I use the Eskimo. One thing people don't think about that can also be a massive trigger is dust. Yes. There are all these particles in the house, in the hair, and they're breathing it in, they're coughing, they're whatnot. You need to go and buy this particular product. It's on Amazon. I'll put the link also there in my affiliate link below. It's basically for you to, it's, it's a plugin. You plug into the socket and it attracts every dust, all these dust meetings, you know, that might be in the hair. Um, if you just move them to a new build, you know, new build are very dusty, you might need to get that. You know, I put one every, every single room my son basically uses the most. I put it there. So there's one in his room, there's one in the living room, there's one in the kitchen, there's one in the playroom. So he has it in the place that he spends the most time in and yeah so it's it's basically a dust allergen plug-in socket so that's another product that i that i use in the house just to absorb and take off all these um allergens that we might have in the hair one of the cream to have worked for him and is working for him is damo yes damo uh he's been using it for a couple of months now and I kid you not, it is great. I love the demo. <laughs> I don't um, wait for it to go down before I call the GP for another one. I gave one to his nursery, so they have one for when he needs it. They literally apply cream for him in nursery every single day, at least twice a day. But even if his skin is not dry right now, put cream on, because I don't want to get to the point of when it becomes a flare-up. And I will then treat it. You want to prevent it so that it doesn't become a flare up. That's why you are taking out and watching these trigger points, these trigger foods, this trigger clothing, this trigger product, so that 
it doesn't become something massive down the line. You're doing all of those now to reduce your work when it, if it does end up having flare-ups, it will not be for a very long time or it will not be so bad that you cannot manage it and then it becomes something else, which is what happened at the beginning with my child. He had to be on antibiotics a couple of times because his eczema was getting infected. So that's why I'm doing this video for you moms out there or even an individual that is going through this out there for you to know what you might be considering, you know, doing or taking out. Another point would also be your liquid that you use to wash your clothes. You're washing up detergent, the liquid or the powder. You need to make sure you're buying products that it clearly says dermatology tested, sensitive skin approved, eczema approved, whatever he wants to say to just give you that tick that it is good for your skin type. Because if it is not suitable, for sensitive skin do not get it for yourself most of these products that are scented please do not use it if you want to get a scented product make sure it's the ones that is suitable for sensitive skin and ones that they put this approval i will put one in my link as well the one that i use for him i do not spread my child's clothes outside <laughs> because a lot of the dress stuff about allergens air alleg dust allergens whatever if those get onto his clothes, he wears them, he's scratching. So I don't dry his clothes outdoor, outside either. And just to summarize quickly, for the triggers you need to watch out for, for things that are triggers that might be triggering your child eczema, that you need to watch out for, do your own research. Um, the first one is food allergy or food intolerances, predominantly wheat, gluten, uh, milk, soda, drink, sugary drinks. My son won. You cannot eat any food that is red. I'm not saying this is for every, for your child too or for yourself. Obviously, until you get yourself tested, you wouldn't know which one. Um, yeah, so just basically check your food. Get You can even get GP to give you like a food allergy test, referral, whatever. So yes, the next one is eat. Make sure you watch out for eat. And then dryness in the hair, dryness on the skin, Dryness in general, you don't want them to be dry at any point in time. Clothing that they're wearing, sleep, percent pure cotton on their, on their skin. And dust allergens and washing up liquids. Those are the major ones that I had to take out and watch or control in my child's diet and lifestyle. And I can say with my full chest, <coughs> I can say there has been so much improvement The last three months of last year was a very hard one for me because I have to watch him just be uncomfortable. So like I've listed the triggers, obviously the solutions would be use supplement fish oil for your child. It will help from the inside, help the skin to glow, help the skin to be, you know, to replenish itself and, you know, bring out new skin, which is what you need. Use humidifier in their room because this will keep the hair in the room moist so they wouldn't dry out, the skin will not dry out overnight. Um, dust allergens plugins that you can get with the Amazon link down below. That way, if you plug it in, it will attract any dust meetings, anything in the hair, and put it in the environment that you frequent or your child frequent the most. Um, also, the kind of like washing up liquids that you buy or use for them. Um, if you're using boost, scent boosters, make sure that they are sensitive one and eczema approved or dermatological tested. Most importantly, get food allergy done, guys, if you can. It might not be an allergy in the long run, it might just be an intolerance. Most some of my son's one are intolerance that he can be able to then reintroduce back into his diet once it's 100%. But for now, I'm leaving them out. I want him to just be like, you know. I want him to basically not express any flare up for like, I don't know, <laughs> as long as possible. And when I want to then introduce it back to his diet, there is a way I need to do it as well, which I will talk about in my, a different video. I hope this video has been very, very informative for you. I hope it's not too long winded and I hope you've learned something and you've actually, you have something to take away from this video. And because I want to try and help as much children out there or adults out there that is ex expressing eczema to just try and have a better lifestyle. I know it's not easy seeing your little one suffering and then you can't do anything to help. So I hope these videos you incorporated and it does help. Um, 
it's not a straightforward thing that you just start doing today and then you see changes tomorrow no it took a month before i started seeing changes in my son because and it's something that you have to keep doing it's not that oh it's cleared now let me leave it and no bother no you need to continue doing it because you don't you want to get it to the point whereby you've gotten the hang of it because that's why i said it's not that you don't wait until the skin is dry before you put cream on them i must when my son's eczema was flaring up i moisturize him six seven times a day when he's sleeping i moisturize him and in the morning i moisturize I literally moisturize him if you do not want to use any products to bathe them you can do that as well you can actually use the cream that they're using to shower to bathe them thank you so much for watching my video all the way to the end um don't forget to like comment subscribe and share this video guys with any mom out there that might be obviously having the same issues we're having and struggling with the childhood eczema with a child and i hope to see you in my next video be healthy and god bless